So my dad died in 2017 of pancreatic cancer. And this week was his birthday on the 11th. So he's been on my mind. And I figured for this story, I would tell you guys a funny story about him doing just some of the most him shit that I can remember. So I want to say this happened in 2008. I'm at home on leave for Christmas. And I'm at my aunt's house because that's where we have all of our family functions because she has a big ass house. Uh, And my dad was actually sick for about 10 years before he died of pancreatic cancer because first he had prostate cancer uh, and then he had something going on with his guts where he had to get like this Whipple surgery that took a bunch of stuff out and then he got pancreatic cancer. Uh, But after the prostate cancer diagnosis, him and my mom moved in with my aunt because her place has always been kind of like a revolving door for people in my family who have some type of need or who are just really bad with money. Uh, (laughs) Both of those apply to my parents. So I'm in the kitchen. I got a plate. I got some turkey. I got some ham. I remember that that year we had hickory ham and I was stoked about that because my aunt would just randomly buy hams and not look at the label. So sometimes you get honey ham, other times you get hickory and honey ham is fucking disgusting. So I was stoked that that year we had the hickory. Uh, And the way that her house is set up is that there's just like one kind of giant main room where there's the kitchen, the dining room. There's like a little entertainment slash bar area. And then there's a living room. Uh, And my dad walked in from out in the garage and it's on the left side of the bar. He comes and he sits down at the dining room table. I sit down over there and me and him start bullshitting along with some of my cousins. So we're sitting there talking for like five or 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden my dad's like, yeah, it's kind of like how the Crow Nation, blah, blah, blah. And he rattles off some fact. And I remember thinking, it's not really applicable to what we're talking about. It's a cool fact, but you know, it has nothing to do with this. Uh, what I said was, oh, cool. He's like, yeah, I've been doing some research on the Indian nations. I'm like, have you? Uh, and for context, my grandmother is half native. She's Cree mixed with some other stuff. And my dad and all of his siblings are very proud of the fact they have native heritage. It's really all they do with it though. Like they didn't take us anywhere or teach us anything about the culture. Uh, my aunt makes shitty dream catchers to give to people at Christmas, but that's kind of like where that stopped. Uh, so it's not completely out of left field for him to be doing that. I just, I think we were talking about cars. So we're like, okay. So a couple minutes later, I go out into the garage to burn one. Uh, cause it's when I still smoked. And my dad smoked like a chimney basically his whole life. He smoked now cigarettes, which are like low tar cigarettes, but they're the fucking worst. Uh, But he would spend a bunch of time out there smoking his now cigarettes and playing shitty flash games on his laptop on like addictinggames.com. So he had a little station out there where it was his laptop and his ashtray. And I'm out there smoking a cigarette. And I look and I see this laptop's open. And on the screen is Wikipedia. And it's the Crow Nation article. And in the center of the screen is the shit that he just said inside of the dining room table. And I fucking die laughing because that is so quintessentially him. The whole bit. Like, my dad is not an educated man, but he wants to be perceived as one. So this is exactly what happened. He's outside smoking a cigarette, and he reads something that he's like, that's pretty fucking good. So he front loads that in his brain. He stands up like the Manchurian candidate, and he goes inside. And he holds it in for as long as he possibly can. And then he just lets it out. And then he sits back, and he's like, I know some things, right? (laughs) I know things. Uh, but that's as far as he planned it out. I guarantee if I would have had follow-on questions, he would have been lost in the sauce. Like, he didn't even close the fucking tab, man. He didn't cover his tracks at all. Uh, (laughs) And it might not be funny to people who didn't know him, but if somebody asked me who my dad was, that's the story that I tell. Uh, Because he was a very sweet man. He was a good dad. But he was about as slick as fucking sandpaper.